Wow, I'm so excited for Brian. Remember, kids, if it's terrible, at the end we all say, you did it. I can't believe we're going to the theater the same day Chris drowned a mouse in a puddle. I mean, don't we need a day to clear our heads? Boy, this takes me back. You know, I was uh, kind of one of those theater kids in high school. Andrews, I pooped in the pot again. I'm gonna need somebody to clean me up. <laughs> it's really bad this time. Wow, what a turnout. Oh, hey, there's Glenn. Hey, guys. Hey, this is my date, Consuela. No, no, no. Okay, we're here as friends, but I'm gonna change your mind one day. Yeah, it's the man of the hour. Hey, Brian, can you believe I found this blazer on the side of the highway? Hey, guys, thanks for coming. Big night, Brian. How you feeling? A little nervous. I just want it to go well. Fingers crossed. Will there be an intermission? Because that will determine whether or not I bring this empty Gatorade bottle into the theater. This is unacceptable! Oh, sorry, guys. Mom, am I gonna fit in the seat, or is this gonna be like last time? This should tide you over for a while. I'll come back as soon as I can. Mm. She's not coming back, you know. How do you know that? Because she's my mom, too. Well, that's pretty good. How did he get Victor... Oh, of course, tonight is Randall Evan Battencourt. God, I hate understudies. King Louis the Sixteenth has been sentenced to death by guillotine. <laughs> the part of King Louis the Sixteenth will be played by Jean de Menard. <laughs> Relax, you're gonna do great. Donna, it's Grant, your new husband. Hi, honey. I've got great news. What is it? First, where do we keep the good scotch? At your brother's house. <laughs> I got an audition for the hottest new play in town. This could really make my career, and we can finally start our family. What's it called? But we live in the Northeast. That's right, we do. Unless we were moving to California. <gasps> he must have got the part. When he going to meet Evita? Not every play is Evita. Oh, no. I feel terrible. Why? Don't you want to go? No. I got you a parka. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, don't go. It's not too late. We can still start our family. Don't you see? You already have a family. It's right there. Ooh. Those won't keep you warm at night. Goodbye, Grant. It's funny, isn't it? All these years, I was the passing fancy. Wow, that was amazing! I mean, usually the shows suck in this town. Like Moisha, the low-energy bar mitzvah clown. Hey, has anybody seen the review yet? No, we've been waiting for you. Thanks. Oh, here it is. Here's hoping a passing fancy is actually a staying fancy. The highest praise goes to playwright Brian Griffin for his hilarious and insightful look into modern relationships. If you see only one play as an adult, I urge you to see this one. I want to write a play. Oh, that's cute, Stewie. Maybe someday. No, I'm going to write a play. I can do lots of things. I was the human resources director for the Muppets. Mr. Beaker, it is my unfortunate task to inform you that your services will no longer be required by this company. <coughs> well, if you must know, it's because we've noticed large quantities of benzene, ephedrine, and everyday Epsom salt have... <clears throat> I want to talk to you about that thing. Hey, what you doing? I was going to start rehearsing my new play. Want to hear it? Oh, you actually wrote a little play. Oh, boy, I, I wish I could hang out, but it, it has just gotten so crazy. Really? I know, right? It's, I mean, I'm not complaining, you know, but I just, I want my old life back. <laughs> I'm so grateful, really. It's just that I'm, I'm so busy all the time, but it's great. It's all great. What, do you think you might have time to read it? <sighs> all right, all right, but be patient, all right? I've got interviews and appearances all week. I mean, they're, they're squeezing every last drop they can out of me like a bottle of ketchup. Listen, we've been at this for 15 minutes. I don't think anything's coming out. Uh, I'm fine. I can keep going. Have, have we brought it back to life here? I can't say that, but it has a pulse. You're such an amazing writer, Brian. How do you do it? What's your process? Oh, God, Allison, how do I even answer that? Uh, I mean, what's a rainbow's process? Two parts rain, one part sun, one part childlike wonder. What we do know, though, is that the end result in both cases is joy. Is this guy giving you a hard time, Brian? No, he's all right. All right, cool, cool. How you doing, buddy?
Sorry, there was a fart trapped in the play. Hey, Jasper, how are you? Hey, Brian, congratulations on your new play. Oh, thanks. What's wrong? You look awful. What happened? I read the play Stewie wrote. Ugh, that's how I feel whenever I see Brad Goreski on Bravo. God, everyone's on Bravo but me. Anywho, have you told him how good it is? No, I just read it. He gave it to me because he wanted my feedback. Okay, listen to me. Tell Stewie it's awful. It's garbage. Do whatever you have to do, Brian, but never let him know he's got talent. Yeah, you're right. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. Oh, my God, look at this. Brian, get in here! What? Your play has been nominated for a local Hoggy Award for Best Creative Anything. Hey, so did you get a chance to read my play? Uh, I did. I did. Ooh, I'm so nervous. What do you think? Stewie, you and I are friends, right? Yeah, I mean, I know you through our mutual friend Greg, but sure, I'd say we're friends now. Oh, I know. I wanted it to be good so much. Oh, I'm so bummed out right now. I, I, now I don't even know if I should submit it. W submit it? I know that was hard for you. And to show my appreciation for reading my play, I made you this. Wow, good dog. And it's official? That's what it says, doesn't it? I wish my dad was alive to see this. I live here. Oh. Do you mind if I take this script? Yeah, sure, whatever. He just pays me to watch him sleep and rub this knife across my face while I do it. Oh. Okay. Hey, how much does Stewie pay you? 4800 a week. <laughs> yeah. Is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Continue to play, little one. You're our future. What the f*** are you talking about? The play I wrote, have you seen it? Uh, I don't know. Let me call my lawyer. <laughs> Hello, I'm being cross-examined. <laughs> no, I, I haven't I haven't seen it. Really? Because I had it sitting right on my table. I said I haven't seen it, all right? And what does it matter? It was terrible anyway. We've had this conversation. Hackneyed ideas and tired cliches. You have no idea how hard it was to sit in that theater with all those braying hyenas. Couldn't you tell something was up when Chris and the fat man could follow the plot? I mean, it took Peter a year to figure out Stuart Little. I just figured it out. Stuart means mouse. No, Peter. I never saw that episode. I have a voice. Do you understand that? A writer needs a voice, and I have one. You don't. Your play panders to the lowest common denominator, Brian, and, and it doesn't even do that well. Shut up. May every person that laughs at your sophomoric effort be a reminder of your eternal mediocrity and pierce your heart like a knife. <laughs> you stink, and your play stinks! This ain't about me, is it? Oh, <laughs> no, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but nobody can ever know that. <laughs> Lois, can I have my birthday here? Seems to be going well. What do you want? Wanted to share a bit of good news. I just found out that my play is going to be produced on Broadway. What? And I'm taking Randall Evan Battencourt with me. Hi, Stewie. I'll be right there. I just gotta finish this crap. I submitted it under a pseudonym. They think it was written by Tony Dovalani. I thought your pseudonym was Gorgeous Randy Flamethrower. That's my dodgeball pseudonym. Look, if you won't take me, I'm sure the New York Theater League would send a car. New York Theater League? Why? Because they're throwing a welcome dinner in my honor. Really? Well, I guess I could clear my schedule. Oh, you won't regret it, Brian. Um, and this is my wife, Nancy. Nancy! Nancy! And this is our Uzbekistani friend, Boykyav Roycheskyu. Hi. Stewie, don't you think you're overdoing it with that outfit? Great party. Totally. Hey, Tony. Oh my God, that's David Mamet. There's the man of the evening. I read your play, An American Marriage. It was incredibly raw. I was pretty damn impressed. Oh, thank you, David. David, this is Brian. Brian David. Oh, it's an honor. Listen, I just want to say what an inspiration Glen Gary Glenn Ross was to me when I was writing my own play. <laughs> you, you want to say your grade point average, too? Boy, it's just so weird to be in a room where every single person in the room is a playwright. Every single one of us. Everyone. 
including me. I'm a playwright. Brian, my God, take it down a notch. You're a playwright in New York? Well, Quahog, Rhode Island. You're kidding. We just went and saw a play in Quahog, Rhode Island. And this one took the grand prize. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I had heard only good things. It was a piece of on a <laughs> oh my god, I got to hear David Mamet curse in person. It's not like you were the only fat guy in there. What? Oh, this is about the play, sorry. I was so happy until I read your play, Stewie. I finally had some kind of success as a writer. You know, it wasn't big, but it was mine. I was fine being an okay writer until I discovered I was living in the house with a brilliant one. I, I know we don't talk about doggy ears a lot, but I, I just... There's your voice, Brian. It's a depressing voice, but it's yours. Right from that. Uh, listen, me and the other playwrights are going out to have drinks with Woody Allen and his daughter wife. You want to come? All right. We can just sit here for a while. They talked a lot more crap about you after you left. What happened to the play you wrote? That was terrible. Well, I gave it a final polish. Changed a few things. Guess I kind of mucked the whole thing up. But how? You... Wait. Did you do that for me? What are you talking about? I'm a young writer. I just wasn't as ready as I thought I was. Maybe in a couple of years. Who knows? Stewie, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs>